in smaller fonts is also important it says economics versus economy some people get these two words confused they they even though they sound similar even though we we might think they they give the same meaning the meaning they give is not the same economics is essentially the science economics is essentially the subject but economy is where we actually make where we apply our science called economics where the activities we study about the the human behavior we learn and observe how people make decisions when it comes to scarce resources alternative uses how people make choices and how people um, incur opportunity cost and produce goods and services satisfy their wants all this happens you now in in economics now that is what we study in economics now where all this happens the situation or the process or the place in which human behavior is actually conducted is what we call the economy so the words economics and economy are not the same so when we think of the economy all these kinds of uh, visualization images need to come to our mind no the economy is where the manufacturing the production happens economy is where we have trade where we go and buy goods and services so supermarkets factories the stock market the financial markets the banks everything is a part of this big thing called the engine called economy the economy is the engine and in economics what we do is we try to learn how the engine works and we try to identify is there a problem with the engine if the if there is some kind of a fault or default in the engine to identify that problem and correct that problem that is the the knowledge we need to have that is the knowledge we get through the subject called economics but economy it, it itself is where everything happens so an economy first um, and foremost if we are to give a definition for what an economy is we could say the term or word economy okay or an economy means any situation where two parties with both the government meaning the public sector and the private sector right now when we say private sector we include uh, households that is our uh, individual family units right households and businesses so who are the two parties public sector and the private sector what are they doing they are working together with the aim of working together with the aim of satisfying unlimited human wants with the aim of satisfying unlimited human wants remember that's the whole uh, subject of economics is all about that no how do we satisfy our wants how do we get the ends we need using scarce means right human wants of a given society of a given society by allocating what does the word allocating mean using they are limited or scarce resources among alternative users at an optimum level what does the word optimum level meaning when you do something or when we use resources efficient efficiently and effectively efficiently and effectively in the simply said buddha if we are using the objective of the economy is to use resources in the best possible way in the what best possible way so what is an economy it's any situation where two parties public sector and the private sector work together in terms of satisfying our unlimited wants by using limited resources and making sure out of the different alternative users we pick and choose and select the right alternative users produce the right goods and services and make sure uh, it is done overall it is done in a what level optimum level meaning in a in the best way possible in the best way possible so that is what an economy is so by definition also you can see there's a difference between economy and economics economics is the way we study the economy economics is the way we study the economy economy is where the economic process actually happens these activities actually happen so when we think of an economy there are three economic activities we call them key economic activities three of them are there uh, basically but an economy is where these three activities are happening if you think of the economy as a big engine or a machine there are three big key wheels that keep turning and these wheels keep on turning they never stop turning and only if these three big wheels keep turning these components keep turning the engine will work right what are they production exchange 
and consumption. We have to produce goods and services. We have to exchange goods and services. We have to consume goods and services. And as I said before, these are interconnected activities. Also, uh, sorry, as I said before, right, these three wheels or these three components of the economic engine, Buddha, the economy needs to keep on turning, keep on happening. That's why we say, right, look at what is given in the bottom of the slide. These activities are flow flows. What does the word flow mean? F-L-O-W flow means when something keeps on happening, when something always happens, never stops, continuously takes place, we use the word flow. So it says these activities are flows. These activities are what? Flows and are highly dynamic in nature. These activities are flows and they are what in nature? Highly dynamic in nature. What does that mean? They never stay the same. They keep on changing. Production levels, production levels, the way we exchange or the exchange volumes, how much we buy and sell, the quantity of goods, prices, these things, consumption, our wants, they never stay the change. Uh, they never stay the, stay the same. Sorry. They never stay the same and they keep changing. So production, exchange, consumption are the highly dynamic in nature. They keep on changing. Not only that, not only that, they are continuously taking place. They are flow concepts as well. Right. So let's, um, there's a small problem with the animation there. Please uh, ignore that. Let's start with production. Just now, this is not where we learn about production, everything about production and comprehensively know. No, but the, here what we want to do is because we are trying to get an introduction into what an economy is we just want to know a simple understanding of what production is so what is production the process of the, the method of converting inputs into output using some kind of a what method technical method so if you use some technical method and convert inputs into outputs that is called production that is called production then exchange the process of buying and selling just take the simple meaning production is converting inputs into outputs using a technical method and in end, end result we have goods and services exchange is the process of buying and selling goods and services where we today use money as a medium of exchange so we live in a monetary system no? what is a monetary system where we use money as a medium of exchange what is the simple meaning of exchange with the buying and selling goods and services consumption Simple, simple meaning is the process of using goods and services to satisfy or fulfill our wants. When we use goods and services to satisfy our wants, that is called consumption. The three key economic flows or activities.